All right, we're here at Salvatore's. The Otter. Oh, the Offer. Shit. Anytime, GTA. <laughs> Man, that Thai color is like spicy hot Doritos. Hey, boss, you okay? Do I look okay? No. Then what are you, a fucking moron? You're always saying the obvious. I can't believe I'm surrounded by people like you. Sorry. <sighs> Listen, I'm sorry. Tony, you're one of my most trusted allies. After what you did, you're like a son to me. Better than my son. Better than any son. Your mother is a lucky woman. So I hear. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anthony, it's over for guys like us. We're dinosaurs, or dodos, or dildos, or something. I tell you, even in my own family, I feel like Jesus, surrounded by 12 Judases. I mean, listen to this. I got a union boss, abroad no less, that I need to do me a favor, and she asked me for money? All I wanted was 24-hour access to the docks while the strike was going on. Strikes that I helped organize so my boys could offload some drugs. And now I get this horse shit? I mean, these are people that I personally fought for, people I've killed for, honest people. And this is how they place is so it's a disgrace. We're finished. Men of honor like you and me. Listen, Tony, I want you to take something to her. You're gonna take this crap off abroad? For now? What choice do I have? Look, go down there, pay her off, and tell her I'd like to have a word with her. Go. Meet the union boss, Jane Hopper, at Portland Docks. Good. Uh, are you gonna get the card now, Tony, or what? Shit. Oh. Especially if you're threatening them with a ticket or incarceration. Think about it. Oh yeah. Have a name badge. Oh yeah. That's uh, one thing I saw in the local news is um, a kid I used to go to school with back in. No, oh, it was in. Gang oh, war erupted mind. last night in Liberty City with the destruction of the Dolls House, a gaming establishment Fuck. owned by the mafia-linked Sindaco family. A member of the similarly linked Leone family is thought to be responsible. However, the head of the Leone family, Salvatore Leone, has denied any knowledge of the event. More on LCN later. As I was saying, most of the kids I went to school with in elementary, or at least more than half, are now criminals. What the hell? Oh, this isn't good. Um, I'll talk about the story later. <laughs> God damn it. Salvatore wants to talk. I'm not playing Salvatore's game. Thanks for the donation, kid. See you around. Oh, she'll take the money but won't come through? Uh... Oh, I'm com I'm uncomfortable now. Stop Escape from the docks, here. really? Oh, boy. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus, help me. Okay, uh, please, 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 somebody. I'll take a car, any car, I don't care. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm out of sprint, and this guy's right behind me. One hit, and I'm gone. Oh, I'm not making this. Get the fuck out of there! Who the hell has Molotovs? Okay, mission passed. Jesus Christ. What dock workers carry fucking Molotovs? Jesus Christ. And I thought we were criminals. Alright, as I was saying the story before, more than half the kids I went to elementary school, which is worse than middle school, are now criminals. Because, um, I'm not saying their names because I don't want them to come back and kill me, but regardless, uh, one of the kids I knew from elementary school got arrested in Louisiana yesterday. I think it was Louisiana, it might have been Mississippi, I'm not sure, one of the southern states for a traffic violation, and he's wanted in connection for an attempted murder here. Attempted murder! Here in Pennsylvania. And I'm like... Jesus Christ, I knew that kid. Well, we were in the same grade, but we weren't in the same classes. That's back when, I, I don't know if they still do it anymore. It's back when, like, say, we're all fourth graders, but there's three different teachers for the main homeroom, and that's really the 
main teacher you associate with. And good lord, I remember he was a short kid and he always had a temper. I remember there was this one time when we were having a history lesson. Uh, I forget, it was some kind of historical figure, a uh, black and white picture on um, some like soft paperback uh, history book. And uh, this kid who got arrested uh, said, stupid dead person, and then he made a fist and punched the book. So yeah, that should have been a telltale sign that, oh boy, this kid's going to need some therapy. And there's my ambulance. Oh, nice drift. No, don't go on the beach, I was about to say. So that's kind of scary. I knew one was put into a correctional facility in Ohio, but yeah, it's crazy. Oh, Selecta. Oh, it's going to be about hookers, isn't it? Is this one of your new doggies, Sal? Mr. Leon, Tony, come star. I'm glad you showed up. I want you to do something for me. If I can't get I must die, you Jesus Christ. On my side, I can sure as shit get her guys to play along. You got me? Sure. Collect sick hooks, sick hookers, six hookers, and take them to the. I only have until I have about six minutes and twenty seconds to. Get, oh fuck! No, Liberty Jam. I hate Liberty Jam. All right, I need to concentrate for this. Fuck the radio. I need six girls there to persuade the dock workers to give up or something. Oh boy. That's why I hate for these four door cars. It should be a five door. I mean. You're the best. Don't stop. Oh yeah. Daddy. Get your own girl, butthead. This one's mine. Not anymore. Uh, you can get the car tony or what? As I was saying. I've always said the four-door cars in GTA. I mean, well, at least the old style. Five people or three people could sit in the back. You know, it'd be a little crunched, but they could sit back there. So it, I could actually do it in like two turns or one turn, or almost one turn. Good lord, how many clients do I have to disturb today? And how the hell do I get in here? Uh, I don't want to know if those are going to blow up. Hooker, stay in the car. Let's go. I'm almost their pimp, basically. Alright. That's another trick, too. Uh, I might have talked about it in another video, but I'm not sure. Uh, ladies. Uh, black Afro hooker. I'm pretty sure there was more than one, right? Shit. Um, if you're playing one of the old-style GTAs and you're about to run out of ammo on one of the guns, like you just saw, if you switch from the D-pad to like your fist and then back, it automatically reloads it, so you don't have the chance of... Reloading right in the middle of a firefight and dying. That's a nice little tip I found out uh, pretty early on. So, as I was saying, getting back to why GTA 4 is my favorite. Are you uh, all alone, sweetie? Um, you have other uh, clients to uh, entertain. <coughs> Sluts! In about five minutes or so. Uh, GTA 4 is my favorite because it had the best storyline characters. And it was actually the first GTA I played when it came out. Pick up more girls. Oops. Um, I didn't... I was 13 when GTA 4 came out. So, I wasn't quite... Uh, aware of the story too much. All I remember is I spared Playboy X because I liked his rainbow hoodie. And then he turned into a dickhead. So I was like, okay, fuck this. That's all I remember. I remember that's back when I decided to always get the special editions of a video game. Uh, because I figured... Uh, oh, where's the party, sugar? In a little bit. is uh, Getting the best edition is, you know, the best thing, I guess. Hey, uh, good looking. You want to have some fun? Not me. Some other dock workers. Get in. Get in, lady. We have, like th oh, we have only like three minutes. We're good. Honey, you and me are going to party. Not me, goddammit. And uh, GTA 4 came out with a special edition, and I found out the only way you could get that is if you pre-ordered. So I went to my local GameStop, it had just opened up uh, pretty recently, and uh, some guy canceled the pre-order, so I was able to get it. I think it was like 70 bucks, though. You got like the, uh, it was like a safety deposit uh, box case, 
And uh, you had its own key and music with Liberty City CD and an art book. I think there was an art book. Maybe. I'm not sure. That might have been Fallout. But it was pretty cool. And, uh, hold on. Is that the end of the mission? Oh, God, there's more. Oh, thank God. 500 bucks. And, um, the first GTA I ever played... If I, I ever played ever, that sounds like a gross double negative. Is, uh, okay. Thank God I stayed up here. Was that... City coming out because I was at vacation in Orlando, so this was like October 2002 when I was like seven. How do I remember that was when Vice City was coming out? Uh, because uh, they, you know, I think in most hotels you have a like a bookstore, you know, magazines, all that kind of crap, and there were a couple of gaming magazines uh, for sale. And Vice City, oh god, Ma's hired killers nearby. Help me, help me, fellow gangsters. Oh, this isn't going to be good. He's going to blow up my car, isn't he? Well, it's a good thing I just saved. Anyway, uh, since Vice City has so many vibrant colors, you know, like pink or what have you, I thought that guy was blocking the entrance to Salvatore's, uh, I remember the two bright pink colors with the lady in the pink bikini uh, on the shelf in the hotel bookstore. And that's how I remember, because Vice City was just coming out. That was my first memory of any GTA. So, yeah. All right, Salvatore's. Frighteners. Oh, no. is this the one with the fire truck? Maybe. Oh, nice sunset. Or sunrise. I'm not Tony, sure. how are you, my boy? You look a little thin. Isn't your mama feeding you right? Oh, we're not talking about her. No, I'm good, Mr. Leone. Listen, these union guys, they're getting me pissed. It looks like some of them are starting to see things my way, but we just need to turn up the heat on some of the less than receptive union big shots. You know what I'm talking about? Like the main lady? Scare the Union Big Shots. Make sure they get the picture. Oh, I'm guessing... Do I have to kill them or what? I mean, killing them would definitely scare the shit out of them. I think. I'm not sure. Alright, we'll find out when we get to one of them. Uh, my favorite GTAs in order is... Number one is definitely GTA 4. The second is the Ballad of Gay Tony. That was really good. Uh, number three is probably... San Andreas? Um... From today, with the establishment of an avenging angel chapter in our crime ravaged city. Oh boy, more the games avenging to angel fight. Program takes ex street punks, reform gangbangers, or anyone with a grudge, and turns them into respectable crime fighters. Head of the chapter, Jesus Max Sentence. Holy said, shit, that ball guy was flying. But public spirited individuals taking the law to the streets. Stay tuned for more later on LCN. GTA 4. Then the Battle Gay Tony, then San Andreas, uh, then GTA 5, then Vice City, then uh, The Lost and Damned, then GTA 3. Yeah, that's about the order, I think. Oh, no, 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 come here. Come here, little man. Or fat, oh god, fat dude. What are you doing? Are you crazy? Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Oh, he set straight, cool. Yeah, that's about it. I'm pretty sure there's a fire truck mission in this game. I cut out the one in Vice City Stories because with this, it's really terrible to control where you spray the water. And uh, when you're using a 360 controller for Windows with this emulator, uh, you have to use the right stick, and it is very fidgety, and the ladies keep dying really immediately. That was a pain. So, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh shit. Can't make your point if they're all dead. Don't kill any more union bosses. Okay, you can't kill all of them. Gotcha. Yeah. The hell is this music? Alright, come back here. 
Come on, you're the last dude. I can't let you get away. Of course you would turn left. If you would turn right, I would have had a better wave. Oh yeah, this little spot. <coughs> can I shoot him? I think I can shoot him, right? Uh, I forget. Don't mess with Tony, bitches! Alright, th this is going to be the last mission we're going to do for today. Roller coaster ride. Uh, that brings up another story. This strike will continue until I get some assurances from this city! Mafiosi thinking they can run the Union can think again! Listen to this shit! They don't scare me. I got bigger balls than all of them. I should call a hit on this bitch. She's taking me for a ride. Well, two can play at that game. Tony, you're gonna deliver a message for me. Big surprise there. Make it to the radio station before Hopper leaves at 12 o'clock. I only have two minutes. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, roller coaster ride. That brings up another story of mine. Um, back in eighth grade, when we were graduating, so this was May of 2009, there was a uh, trip to Six Flags. I believe it was in Ohio. I think it was in Ohio. I can't remember. Uh, anyway, I got talked into going on this roller coaster. But this wasn't your regular roller coaster, folks. It was an upside down roller coaster. Oh boy, what fun! I only got talked into it because other people were going. Always listen to peer pressure, people. That's the best way to go in life. Regardless, anyway. The, um, it was the upside down roller coaster. Now remove the chauffeur from the equation. Um, all I remember, uh, let me kill this guy first. He's gone. Damn, that guy's in innocent. Is that, uh, I opened my eyes once after getting on. We were upside down all over the fucking parking lot. I was like, nope, uh uh, not opening my eyes again until this ride stops. Uh, Speaking of which, another amusement park story. When I went to Walt Disney World back in October 2002 when Vice City was about to hit the store shelves. Wood Ferry Station and step on it. You said it. Scare the hell out of Hopper. Uh, I'd go down that way, but there's a bunch of trees and she could jump out. Uh, speeds, collisions, and all that should put her into a mission. Gotcha. Um, we were at Epcot, right? And hey, take it easy. We're not in a race. Hey, you're not my regular driver. Who the hell are you? Shut up. From now on, you do exactly what Salvatore Leone tells you to. Capiche? Audio's cracking. I refuse to be scared by this. And we'll see. That old guy just got ran over for you. I hope you're scared yet, lady. I was at, we were at Epcot, right? And it was, uh, I think it was the Animal Kingdom ride. I can't Let remember. Me out right now. Or was it the test drive ride? I don't remember. Anyway, it was another roller coaster, but the good thing this was um, a regular roller coaster. It wasn't upside down or anything. Please, you kill us both. I'm not afraid to die. Oh boy, that was a Sendaka. Okay, okay, I've had enough. I'll do whatever you want. Take Hopper to the ferry. Oh boy, that was about to flip. To the ferry station picket line, and it was a regular roller coaster, and we were going through the tunnel, and then it was like one that would go backwards too. We got stuck in it. The ride stopped working. For like two hours. And, uh, what did I do in that time? Oh, God. I thought I could go through I thought that was wood. I thought I could go through that. What did I do in that time? Because, uh, there was no smart fans back then. I think the big thing was flip fans, but I can't remember. Um, what did I do? I think I fell asleep. It was during that trip that Florida was going through their worst uh like heat wave ever so like every day i was there i was immediately thirsty as soon as thirsty as soon as i walked out of the hotel absolutely where the hell am i going absolutely thirsty i didn't i remember i met snow white or oh god snow white impressionist oh boy get out of the way folks oh they're gonna pull me out fuck it we're gonna go back down this road and turn around I remember I uh, blow blue Snow White, uh, Snow White, <laughs> Snow White a kiss, and I don't mean nickname for the drug. I remember that, and uh, that's about it. That's all I have for amusement park stories. I really don't like amusement parks anymore because one, the long lines; two, it's mostly freaking hot all the time; three, people smell like shit most of the time too. And uh, that's basically all I have to remember. But at least I have experienced it.
I think every kid should eventually experience amusement park once in their lo or childhood, I should say. And don't forget our little agreement, lady. Yeah, you fucking bitch. Mission pass, a thousand bucks. The oh god. No. The chauffeur outfit is now available at the safe house. Yeah. Uh, there's only one more thing I want to talk about today. Uh, for most people who, where's the radio off button? There we go. For most people who know me, or at least know of me, in my videos, I'm pretty a laid-back person. You know, I give off. I may be like mostly cranky during these videos, but it's mostly just um, I ham it up for the camera or the recording or what have you. I'm mostly laid back and I try to be a free spirit and hippie and all that. I'm still looking for a hippie peace sign necklace. I haven't found one yet, or at least one that looks good. Oh, I should go save. Uh, regardless, I think if you ever ask me what's my what's Turbid's opinion on life or the meaning of, if you ask me, sorry I'm getting so philosophical. This is probably going to be my most personal playthrough because I don't have any other shit to talk about. Um, what is my opinion on life? I think the meaning of life is to go out and make a positive difference in the world and like help people's lives improve, get better. I think if you go out and change the world for the better, help people out, and be an all-around good person, then... I think you really captured the essence of what life is all about. I could be completely wrong because we don't know, but that's my opinion, and uh, I think just be good to people, and um, that's about it. Because the world, oh, life is too short to be angry and upset at people all the time and being racist and all that bullshit. It's not worth it. It's not worth it to, you know, gentrify or, you know, be terrible against certain groups. There is no justifiable reason for discrimination because of ancestry, or religion, or race, or sexuality, or color. That's my opinion. But, uh, that's about it. Alright, people, uh, I think I'm about to get a phone call if I get out of the van right now. I was completely wrong. Alright, people, now I'll wrap it up for Grand Theft Auto Liberty Cities for today. When we come back, I'm pretty sure someone will give me a phone call after I'm done recording. And we'll go to whoever's missions that will be uh, next time. So, yeah. So, damn it. So, thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll catch you guys next time.